on the ring. An air vent is a uh, necessity for all fires. All fires when they burn, if you imagine when you were back in school you learned the heat triangle, you need fuel, you need air, you need heat um, to, to cause a fire basically and take one of those three things away and the fire doesn't burn properly. If the fire doesn't burn properly you get incomplete combustion. Incomplete combustion will mean that the fire doesn't burn properly. It also means that it's going to produce more carbon monoxide. If that carbon monoxide comes into the room it's obviously not very good for you. Uh, if you're not burning properly, you're not getting the right economy for the fuel that you burn, you're not getting enough heat from the fuel you're burning, so you're not be, being as warm as you should be. Plus, what's going out the top of your, your chimney is more harmful for the environment. All, all fireplaces, no matter what fuel you burn, need air. Um, with a gas fire, um, quite often a deck to fuel effect gas fire, will, if it's under 7.1 kilowatt input, it won't need an air vent, but if it's over 7.1 kilowatt, input it will need an air vent. All solid fuel open fireplaces need an air vent and the size of the air vent should be 50% of the, uh, the throat opening to the chimney. Okay. Um, in the case of a, a wood burning stove such as this if the appliance is under 5 kilowatts you don't need an air vent but if it's over 5 kilowatts you do need an air vent and there's a, a ratio between the uh, amount of millimetres squared per kilowatt over 5. But all open fireplaces burning any fuel need an air vent. I would say 80% of my customers don't have the correct ventilation in their properties. Wow.